Hi everybody, it's Anne from Reveille Artistry again. I hope you're having a good day thus far. Um, lovely day here in the Midlands. Um, today I'm going to do something different. I'm going to have a little go at geode um, painting, resin painting. Um, now I've, this is just a piece of MDF. I've, um, it's roughly 30 by 26 centimetres. Um, just an off cut my husband uh, cut for me um, and I'm gonna have a go um, you know what I'm like I like to experiment I like to try different things I've watched a few videos etc um, and I've got a few bits of um, different stones to use um, I'm a little bit anxious about this um, <laughs> I've not tried anything like this before so um, anyway so Basically, I have got some crushed mirror glass, which is like that when it comes. So it's got a black side, as you'd expect, and then the mirror side. Um, you can leave some of the black showing or turn it all over, whatever you want, but it's quite a cheap way to sort of make the base. You can see the bits. I, I mean, some I've turned over, some I haven't. Probably turn over that one. There we go. Um, and um, you can lay it as you like. As, or whatever suits you. I mean, you could even do it black side up, I suppose, if you were doing that. I've also got these um, um, clear crystal decorations. Um, they are some are clear and some are sort of opaly looking, quartzy looking. Um, I'll get you out for you. Um, see, so not not vastly transparent, but very pleasant all the same. Um, so I've got some of them. Um, I've also got some of the little, um, oh, where are they? The little gems, uh, little cut diamondy, plasticky things that you, uh, wedding confetti, I think they call it. Um, I'm going to put on at a later stage and some of this uh, holographic glitter that's going to go on. Um, I've made up um, some resin. Um, I'm going to fix, um, well, I'm basically just going to put a drizzle of, of resin over this to sort of try and help start it fixing. This is a project that will go over a couple of days, of course. Um, I've got um, micas, mica powders here. This is like a, a white with a hint of pink. I don't know the make of that one. This is a Let's Resin Rose, rose Red, funny enough, but it looks pink to me. And then I've got this one, which is a Let's Resin Bronze Pink. So I've um, got those three. Um, I want to use a gold. I might use a bright sort of yellow. Mm, don't know about that. I need to choose a gold. Um, I've also got some pink sort of glittery bits here. These very small stones. It's uh, The make is C-E-Y-A. I've written it on the bottom and it's rose gold. Um, quite pretty. I'll also be using white. I'm going to use uh, pigment paste. This is uh, just resin pigment paste because it's uh, very opaque, which is what I want. Um, so basically the whole board will be covered with resin. I'm also going to use, um, she says, hang on a sec, um, I've got, um, I've also got acrylic pens I'm going to use. I'm going to use um, a gold and a white probably on this one, but I have got pink as well. So. Um, Posca pens are important. Um, I'm not going to use sort of icing bag arrangements for my lines at this point, though I may do in the future. Um, another gadget that I've seen people using that seems to work really well is to use a syringe. Um, so I'm going to get some, I feel a bit funny ordering syringes online. <laughs> it sounds like I'm a bit of a drug addict or something. I don't know, just me being funny. Um, I'm also going to do um, some rose red Al uh, transparent alcohol ink resin um, as well in there but uh, of course in a good dose of white so first of all I'm going to mix up some pots of resin so let's pop a little bit I'm just going to put a drop into each of these because I don't know how much of them I'm going to use um, I should probably use more white than anything I'm not measuring I'm just sort of going by eye really Um, yeah, <laughs> we shall see. We love an experiment. Okay, let's, let's 
go with those first of all. Um, and I'll get a slightly bigger one for the white. Let's use one of these for the white. I have a feeling I'll use more than that. Okay. So let's do them one at a time. Feel free to fast forward as I mix. This is my just resin pigment paste. I'm going to give it a little stir first. And then just basically scrape off my stick because that's all I'm going to need. Don't you just love this stuff? <laughs> it goes on forever, doesn't it? Um, so that's that one. Let's see if I can let's see how white it goes. You never know, I might need to add some more. I talk as if I know what I'm doing, but I usually just go by um, sight, you know, what it looks like. I do know this uh, is very highly pigmented. So uh, you can see how white, how deep that white is, if you know what I mean. It's, let's make sure. Oh. Try and get more off the stick. And I need to make sure that it's absolutely, it's not 100% opaque actually, is it? Look, you can see the stick through it. So what I think I'll do is I'll just add a tiny bit more. Um, I'll have to use another stick really, won't I? Silly me. Um, I'm just going to put a tiny bit more in. Just on the end there. Hopefully that'll be enough. Put the lid on before I spill it. I'm not going to do any more sort of pots or vases or anything for a while because the actual demolding of them has killed my hands. It was so hard, um, but definitely using hot water to soften them up slightly did make a difference. Um, so I have to give my hands a bit of a rest. I am actually as well prepping for a Christmas fair. I've never done a fair or craft fair or anything before. Terrified of doing it. But um, my daughter knows somebody who's, you know, who's, who knows somebody who's organising this one. And, uh, oh, you've got to do it, Mum, you've got to do it, Mum, you've got to do it. So I'm doing it with their help. And uh, it's going to be in Els Barton, but I'll let you know date and times when I know them, because I don't at the moment. Um, it'd be good to see you there. I think it's just a general Christmas fair, all sorts of things. Um, but, uh, yeah, so let's see what happens then. Okay, so we've done that. Um, now let's do the... I love doing um, mica powders. Well, yeah, let's do this. I'm going to try this one. It's a bronze pink, so I think that should be like a rose gold. Always tap them first to make sure there's no powder in the lid. It's going to pop up in your face. That one nearly did, look. Oh, that doesn't fit. No good. Okay. And if I'm in shot. Am I in shot? Yes. I'm just going to put two in. That should be more than enough. Oh, that's a lovely colour. Look at that. You can see that already. Make sure you give pigment powders a good stir because if you have any little pockets of powder still left in there you can bet your bottom dollar they will float to the top and they will pop and leave a little a powdery pock mark in your resin oh isn't that beautiful isn't that just beautiful right i will give that another stir in a bit let's get that one going right now let's do a i'm just going to use um do this as an alcohol ink one this is let's resin rose red Excuse me, sniffing. Lovely colour, isn't it, eh? Look at that. You've got to love it, haven't you? Okay. Then we'll go for this one. Which is the sort of white with a twist I think I think this is pink if it's not pink I'm not going to use it because it has to be pink so let's just I 
Let's see. I think it's going to be pink. Yep. Look at that. Woohoo! So it's white with a pink interference, if you like. Could be a bit of a hint of blue in there as well, but that's not a bad thing. That's white. And then we'll go for the rose red in Let's Resin. Hmm, it's got a blue tone. Not sure about that one. Hmm. I don't know, we'll see how we go with that one. Might be a step too far in the wrong direction. Okay. And then what else have I got? Um glitter. I want glitter. Glitter, where are you? I can't see you. Where have you gone? Um, I need a gold. Oh, there's my glitter. I was thinking about putting a purpley, but I think that might not be quite right. Let me have a look at what I've got. Um, I have a pink, pink glitter. There we go, that'll do. I was hoping this was going to be pale pinks, but it's actually ending up as being um, more bold. But I do like a bit of colour. I do like a bit of colour. So, out of this tiny weeny pot, oh, actually, have I got it? I've got it all in the lid, <laughs> upside down. Never mind. Oh, look at that! Oh, do look at that! Oh, I've got to put another one in. <laughs> oh. Is that going to be enough? No. Oh, no, that's not enough. No! There we go. Tip it in, Anne. It's got to be really glittery. Oh, that's better. Oh, look at that colour. Look at that. It looks a bit sparse, that, doesn't it? I'm going to put the rest of it in. Why not? She says, why not? Pop it in. That's lovely. And I need a gold. Ah, I can see a few different golds and I really don't know which one is the best. Um, just bear with me one second. I've got a green gold, pearl gold. Um, uh, royal gold Ooh. and dark gold. Look at this. Uh, let's go for that one. Okay, it says dark gold, but it's actually lighter than the other gold. Um, no, no idea what make that is. I've had it a while. So let's pop some in another pot. A little bit of clear left. Let's all this on here. Um, where are we? There's a tiny bit of glitter left there. We'll pop it all in. It's not worth keeping that little bit. Yeah. Okay, so this is the Oh, 
Oh, that's beautiful. That's perfect. That's called dark gold. I'd love to try and look back at them. That is perfect. It's like a 24 carat, isn't it? That is perfect. Okay, so I'm just going to put some lids back on because you know what I'm like. Things will go over, things will be spilt. Um, oh, I haven't got a lid to that one. Okay. Just move that. I don't think that's going to make a lot of difference. Quick slurp of tea. Right. I'm going to give this a little, you can see all the air bubbles in there. Just a quick blitz. any lumps okay I'm just going to put this around the edges of my stones now remember this is this is the blind leading the blind here I don't know really what I'm doing this is my first ever go so let's put around the edge of that Okay, I'm going to make it run off the edges because I don't want any um, white bits on the edge, if you know what I mean. I want it to flow to the edge. That's all right. Now my board, I don't know if I said, I've, um, I just sewed it twice. And then I covered it with a, uh, two coats of white acrylic paint. So it's well and truly sealed. Look, somehow I've got splashes of gold on there, but oh, silly me, but okay. I'm now also going to pop a bit of clear on my stones to help them stay in place. Just a drop. The one artist I've watched most is Danka. Oh, I'll have to look her up. Danka something or other. Um, yeah, she was the one that sort of said things in a way I understood. You know, they I can't always get what people are getting at sometimes. And anyway, now I'm going to put some white down next to this. I'm not going to go right up close to it, I'm just going to, because it will spread itself of course, and then this one. And then this one. Okay, then I'm going to um, actually let's put a little bit more on that one. Oh, that was a bit of a, a bit much. Then I will 
put some of this gold. in the middle of that where that is I'm just going to put some stones pretty pretty <laughs> oh, I like that, I do. Then I'm going to, what haven't we used yet? Go with the clear, which I might, I might put See how I'm continually outlining what's there before. Um, now I've got this um, ready bluey. Not sure about this one, but we'll go with it. If we can, let's just go like that. And like that. Um, and then the glitter. I'm just going to get a fine line here. Could have done with more glittering, couldn't it? That's okay. Um, I'm going to give it a bit of a blast. I seem to be lacking a bit down here, so let's put some of this. Oh, I've gone to use that one, haven't I? Um, what haven't I used down this corner? Oh, we haven't used this one yet. In. I think I could probably have been a bit more generous with my colours. I'm just always worried that I won't have enough. 
I've got some canvases I can do this on if, uh, if I like what I do. If I like what I do. A bit more of this on, cut that corner. Seems to be, seems that the cliff thread sunk a bit. Okay, and I'm going to leave it like that now, and I will come back to this when it's dry, and then we'll do the next bit. Okay, hope you like what you've seen so far. Let's put a little bit more. Oh, I haven't finished this bit here, have I? Let's put some white. And some gold. Okay, so all I'm going to do now is where I've got sort of a bit of white there, I'm just going to pop a bit of colour on to just sort of spread it over. I want you to go that way. Not that I want it to draw off, but I want it to go right to the edge. Now this is going to move around and do funny things um, in my absence, I'm sure. Um, which is fine. Um, it's what you do really. The, what what it how it seems to me is it's what you do afterwards that um, sort of defines it. Um, let me see this pot. What did I just see? Yeah. Little gap there. So you get the drift. My board is totally covered. At this point, I'm not going to put any um, I'm not going to put any um, Oh, what am I trying to say? <laughs> this is so traumatic, we're doing all this. Um, yeah, I'm just not going to do anything else to it now till it's dry, till I see what it looks like, and then we go from there. Okay, okay, folks. Well, hi again, folks. Um, my apologies for not recording what I did with um, this in terms of finishing it off. Um, I realised I had made a fundamental mistake, but I just thought I'd talk you through what I did. Um, I um, didn't uh, use hot glue, a hot glue gun, to seal my gems in place. And so when I put the gold round the edges, it seeped in. So mistake there. And the same thing here, um, you need a hot gun glue, you know, hot glue gun, sorry, to um, actually go around the edge of your stones um, and that seals them in so that resin doesn't run underneath. Um, so here, like the gold has run right underneath here um, and there. So, and there you've got the pink has run underneath. Um, I mean, it's not, it's still nice, I, um, don't get me wrong, but um, I would have preferred not to have done that. Um, and then what I did was I had some pink, um, well, you saw that I had some pink stones. I put them there. I don't know whether that was before or after. Um, I can't remember. But anyway, I used um, Posca pens, a silver uh, and white Posca pens to do outlines. And what that does is it tidies up the edges of your colours. So where your colours might have merged a bit or, or done, you sort of can draw around them um, to give yourself some lines. And then you can draw parallel lines. Um, sort of more in this effect that I've done here. Um, I used a syringe for my glitter, which was sort of successful and sort of not because it seeped everywhere. <laughs> but it's still pretty because it has got quite a shimmer on it. Um, I'm not um, disappointed. Um, and obviously you have to start somewhere with all, with everything, don't you? And it doesn't always go exactly how you planned. So 
all in all, I am actually really pleased with it. I learned a lot doing it. Um, um, yeah, I sort of stopped when I stopped because I thought I don't know quite where I'm going with this. So um, I just thought I'd leave it alone and just say it's my first ever geo resin painting. So there we are. I'm happy with it. Learned lots of stuff. Um, Going to do another one, of course. Um, I'll probably do another plastic, another um, practice one. Oh, losing that one um and um you know every time you do it it's it's a you learn something new and you can move on to it again and do better so that's how i see that anyway um hope you've enjoyed what you've seen um so far um i will post it on um my channel just because it might help somebody else who's who's worrying about um having it giving it a go we can all give it a go and there's nothing wrong there's no mistakes really well there is yeah that could have been done better but yeah generally all good so anyway i'll see you on the next one take care bye okay folks let's have a little close up and you can see where the pink's bled underneath there can't you and then where the gold's bled underneath there and you can see the lines um and the glitter and the stones um so I hope it makes some sort of sense to you. Um, it's a tricky one, isn't it? Because unless you try it, you don't know. And I'm not professing that my way of doing things is the right way. I'm just learning, just like everybody else. So if you like what you see, thumbs up, subscribe, and continue my journey with, um, with me. Um, yeah, your support's greatly appreciated. See you later.